Hi Pisces, welcome. So Pisces, this is going to be your reading. I am gonna do a two part reading. The first part is gonna be your spiritual general messages and then we're gonna go into the you versus them portion. Uh, for those of you only interested in the you versus them, feel free to click the timestamp and you can jump ahead. Otherwise, welcome and I know this reading is titled July. That's just time stamping when it came out. It doesn't mean it is for specifically the month of July. It will resonate with you in different ways, but usually when you're viewing it is when it's meant for you. Um, so anyways, <laughs> let's get into it, Pisces. You have two cards out, Mars and Saturn. Um, so this is talking about your desires, your impulses, what motivates you, what drives you forward. Um, sometimes it can be a little bit impatient. Sometimes this can be a very temperamental energy, so you want to be careful with that. The, uh, and then this card is talking about discipline, structure, staying organized, staying on top of things, getting the things you need to get done, uh, prioritized, right? So there's like this big pack, this big punch of energy coming through for you. And I'm hearing it's so that you can get the job done, Pisces. So let's see what else we have coming in for my Pisces. What else? You have the two of pentacles here. So this is talking about juggling different priorities, um, maybe being pulled in two different directions. But it also talks about having options here and, you know, um, being able to decide which way you want to go with something. Like, I feel like the ball is in your court, Pisces, which it always is because we are the attractor and creator of our own reality. But... It's like you you may have a lot on your plate, but I feel like you have options here, right? Like you're not stuck to any one thing at, at the moment, okay? Even if it feels that way to you. So let's see what the Osho Zen has to say. <clears throat> now, it's your inner voice. I was actually going to do Taurus's reading today. Um... But for some reason, I felt really inclined to do your reading, Pisces. And maybe you're also connecting with Taurus. If so, check out their reading when it does come out. But another weird thing is I had this Billie Eilish song stuck in my head all day. And I'm guessing it's for you. But she says, don't you know I'm no good for you? I've learned to lose. You cannot afford to. I don't know. Maybe you'll randomly hear that. Maybe that song resonates with you. Maybe the lyrics resonate with you. Go check it out. I think it's called When the Party is Over. Anyways, <laughs> that was a side note. Yes, yeah, so you have the card of intuition and needing to listen to your own inner voice when it comes to um, some decisions that you have to make. Now, there may be decisions needing to be made around finances or your career um, as well, and they're wanting you to listen to your intuition about that. So let me see. Oh, I can't get the card off the floor. And then you have the card of sorrow. So how interesting, because that Billie Eilish song is like a, it's a sad song, right? Well, like all of her songs are kind of sad, but, um, there may be some emotions that you're dealing with during this time frame, Pisces, that you just really need to sit with, that you really need to process and listen to your inner voice um, when it comes to that. So let's go further and see what else we have for you, Pisces. The Devil. The Knight of Cups. The Star. And the Three of Pentacles. So this is beautiful. Um, you have Capricorn Aquarius energy here for some of you. But essentially, Pisces, it may be that really right now what's on your brain is kind of getting your space organized or for some of you finances, but also love being highlighted, romance. Um, in fact, I got the song Addicted to Love as soon as this card came combination came out. So I don't know if that's you, Pisces, feeling maybe addicted to love or obsessing over a partner or it could be someone is addicted to you or obsession maybe has obsessive qualities or obsessing over the connection um but i feel like and i'm also getting the term shining star 
I feel like maybe your your energy is just shining right now, you know? And so you may be very attractive to another person or other people. You may even attract in people who seem obsessed with you. And <laughs> I have the Mariah Carey song now. Why are you so obsessed with me? Keep it on the low. Um, and it doesn't have to be romantic partners. Some of you, yes. Others, it could be like, you know, just like people very interested in what you're doing, what you're up to, um, routinely checking your page, routinely checking on you, <laughs> you know, like that kind of stuff. Um, which you, when you're in your, when you're at your best, you are a shining star and you do attract attention, right? Like that's really all that differentiates uh, like Hollywood stars and all of us. We're all stars, by the way, in Source's eyes. But it's just that they, that people see them in that light of special or shining or whatever. That's what makes them seem so attractive. But honestly, we all have the ability to emanate that energy, to be our own star and, and attract that. And the easiest way to do it is to love yourself, feel comfortable in your skin no matter what you look like, no matter where you're at in your life, and really reach for um, what makes you feel good, Pisces. So right now, I feel like there's also maybe some wish fulfillment in the romance sector, but could also be with, in the home, um, getting organized, um, working on things as a family unit. If you have a, if you're in a family unit, who's not in a family unit, Dana? Well, not everybody has a family. Look at how I'm arguing with myself. <laughs> I have a little discussion with my higher self right now. <laughs> Anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, like I, I just feel like there's obviously some sort of focus here on the home, the family, the fam, you know? All right, so let's see <laughs> what else we have coming in in the hard space. Oh, I'm so goofy lately. I say, I say that like that's something new about my personality, but pretty sure I was born this way. Um, anyways. <laughs> All right. The Ten of Swords, the Magician, the Five of Wands. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm going to do you a salad and I'm going to read that as one message. So, Pisces, um, when it comes to the heart space, there is like a clearing out of the old coming through, okay, or uh, a moving away from an end of a, ch I heard a toxic cycle for some of you, um, and it could be something that you are struggling with emotionally, or maybe someone you were struggling with, there's definitely some sort of emotional struggle going on here, and for a lot of you, it's to deal with a relationship, but for others of you, it could be related to the home and the finance, but I feel like just be open to new possibilities, Pisces, and see what the universe can bring you. Sometimes things seem like hopeless or like we're never going to stop feeling a certain way. But when you step outside of that thought, when you step outside of that emotion and just chill out a little bit and just know that the universe is never let you down, there will be another stepping stone. There will be another chapter. And when you can get into that space and truly trust that, it's like, here come the ideas, the, the helpful person, you know, the insight that you've been looking for. And it puts you back on solid ground, okay, Pisces? Now, this may be a time period where you start wanting to work on yourself so that you can maybe plan for your future and move things forward. There also may be communication coming in around um, maybe travel or the something you've been planning for the future. Okay, so be on the lookout for that as well. So let's see what else. Ooh. And I, I'm getting like a flight of ideas. So I love when I'm in the zone and I just have like good idea after good idea after good idea. <laughs> That's what alignment really truly feels like. It's not boredom. It's not like, 
I don't know how to explain it, but it's like your mind just comes up with the most awesome things when you're in a good feeling space. And that's where all good ideas come from, a good feeling space. All right, King of Cups, Judgment, the Six of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands. So don't be your own worst critic here, Pisces, okay? Because there's this hypercritical energy that wants to come through, and I'm picking it up from you, but it could also be someone you're dealing with. Um, um, criticizing or, or being very critical of themselves or you, possibly. Um, but don't let that get to you, uh, Pisces. And if you're doing it to yourself, that's not helpful, right? That's not listening to your inner voice. No need to beat yourself up with your own mind. There is a reason to kind of chill out coming through and kind of release something that you've been struggling with and having faith that when you release the struggle, that of which you've been asking for will begin to come into your experience one tiny step at a time. It's so they're showing me breadcrumbs um, and Hansel and Gretel. Okay, whatever. <laughs> um, where like the universe is giving you like breadcrumbs as stepping stones, as one leading to the next, leading to the next to get you to where you ultimately are wanting to go with your career, with your life, or some of you with a relationship. And it's like, um, they want you to savor, you know, each morsel, okay, no matter how big or small it is. And in the savoring of what you currently have, you naturally bring into you more of what you're wanting. So there's this message here and I have a song, follow the yellow brick road, um, to follow your happiness. Okay. And to let go of the struggle, let go of the worry. If you've been stuck on something or fixated on something, you know, it cannot change or come into your experience until you release that fixation, which just means that you need to quiet your mind a little bit more. You need to be a little bit kinder to yourself. You need to be a little bit kinder to others, maybe. Release the judgments. Allow yourself to be open to the universe providing, um, or maybe even open to others providing or giving what it is that you need because it's on ready here. And the only holdout to it coming into fruition would be your own guarded stance. You know, your your own thoughts about it. Okay, so all the more reason to hang out and listen to your inner voice, Pisces. So let's see. <clears throat> let's see what the guidance is for my Pisces. I can still hear that Billie Eilish song. Don't you know I'm no longer for you? I've learned to lose you, can't afford you. Is she a Pisces? She's got to be a water sign. Or a Scorpio, maybe. No, actually, I think she's a Sagittarius. But I do think she has a Scorpio moon. I could be wrong, but whatever. Anyways, <laughs> I, I love Billie Eilish. Okay, so you have the card of believe and have fun. The force that works through your soul determines what's possible or impossible. The difference between success over failure and above all, who you are is the power of your belief. So believe in yourself, Pisces. And then this is an encouragement to have a little bit more fun, to focus, to chill out a little bit, to know that the answers are coming, that this is going to be all right, that you don't have to, you know, beat this to the ground in your mind, that you can release it for a little bit and let your inner voice guide you to the next logical step and the next and the next. So, wow, beautiful reading. I'm going to go into the you versus them love portion. And so if you're interested, just hang on one quick second and we'll begin. And welcome back, Pisces. We're going to go into the you versus them. I'm going to go back and forth between you and the person you may be connecting with. Keep in mind, it's a general reading, so um, you can feel free to reverse the roles if needed. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Interestingly enough, I was just talking in the spiritual reading about Billie Eilish. I was trying to figure out her zodiac sign, which I think she's a Sagittarius. And that's how I ended it. And then the first card out that just flew out is 
Sagittarius energy. So tarot cards are so funny, right? Um, some of you could have that in your birth chart or be dealing with someone who has that in their chart. Um, or it could just be the influencing vibes. So it's very enthusiastic, philosophical, independent, outside of the box, ready for anything. Um, sometimes signifies travel, uh, definitely going outside of your comfort zone energy here for you Pisces and then you have the Queen of Swords showing up in your energy and then the death and rebirth card Scorpio energy here for some of you so I feel like Pisces you're in the space of claiming your independence and um, I heard an independent streak. I also picked up a similar energy in the spiritual reading. So I, I feel like you're not afraid, or you shouldn't be afraid, I should say, to be on your own. Although you do not have to be on your own. But being comfortable with being with yourself, by yourself, is really one of the best things you can do for yourself is to learn how to be self-reliant. Um, some of you are in the process of learning that or becoming more self-reliant, um, you know, establishing more of self-identity during this time frame. And I heard for a small group of you, there could be like an identity crisis going on, um, maybe with you or someone you know. I don't know. This person has... Uh, the card of transformation and endings. So this is uh, something's being put to an end in this person's energy and getting ready to transform during this time period, right? Because after every end is a new beginning. So let's see. We're going to look at the recent past to see what led up to the now moment. Um, then we are going to look at oops, how you perceive each other how you genuinely feel underneath it all, and most likely future outcome. The Fool. The Hermit. And the King of Wands. So, Pisces, in the recent past, it was like... I heard success and failure... Maybe you've had your own mix of successes and failures in the past. Maybe you took some risky moves that you now are self-reflecting on. That there's a, this encouragement came up in the spiritual reading too. Like, don't beat yourself up, Pisces. No matter what the situation is, no matter what you've done, don't ever go into a place of beating up self like life is hard enough right others are really good at that anyways so why why do it to yourself um some of you it's like you thought something was going to be a success but it wasn't what you thought it was and maybe you took a leap or made a decision and now you're kind of reflecting on that um, which is fine yes reflect on it so that you don't repeat it but don't go into a place of self-deprecation um, instead, let this be a motivator to you. Let this make you stronger and more confident. And honestly, you know, the quickest way to learn is to sometimes get it wrong, right? Because you never know better how to do something right than when you've accidentally done it wrong, you know? So <laughs> let's see this person's recent past energy. Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Get back in there. Okay. More cards. Okay, so Pisces, I, the person that you're connecting with, to me, this is like, <clears throat> if there's been something that this person has been holding on to, it may get to a boiling point or it may have gotten to a point where they impulsively you know either said something or did something or took some sort of action right and and maybe even took action in a way that they regret okay I feel like this person sees you as someone who's very important or a soulmate twin flame uh, connection here um, but if there was 
a big shift or a change or an ending here. I feel a lot of remorse around that. I feel like this person wishes that they would have given it more time or that they would have maybe been a little bit more balanced with their approach here because it's like I heard they put themselves in a place of suffering whether they intend to do that or not which nobody really intends to cause suffering for themselves but most people don't know how to use their mind in the correct way um, or if you, <clears throat> some people don't even have control no everybody has control over, over their mind but some people have forgotten that right <clears throat> and it shows up as <clears throat> mental illness <clears throat> what the heck there's something that this person was holding on to that they wish they would have taken action about or said something about um because it created some sort of change or ending <clears throat> and my throat chakra is closing right now. So, <laughs> so with that, let's go into how you see each other in the now energy. <clears throat> For my Pisces, the Knight of Swords. Justice. Six of Cups. the sun card so Pisces when it comes to this person I feel like some of you may have rushed something here okay but I, I honestly feel that's past energy things are being brought to a balance something from the past is being brought to a karmic balance in the now right which is helping you to feel more connected this could be someone you have past history with um, <clears throat> They could have Libra or Leo in their chart, but they don't have to. It's just like, why is there such a rush of energy around this? I don't know if you get a rush of energy when you're around them or like you're always rushing or they're always rushing. It's weird. There's something about that. Um, <clears throat> now they're giving me an old Paula Abdul song. <laughs> Bush, bush, hurry, hurry, love, I can't believe. Anyways, I feel like you have a lot of happy, you've either had a lot of happy experiences with this person or when you think about <clears throat> maybe some of the past memories, it makes you happy. So let's see this person's perception, Pisces. Oh my, why does all their cards want to keep coming out in one pile? <clears throat> so I feel like this person is in the space of wanting attention, to be honest with you. But I feel they're also in a place of lacking attention. And it may be that they want attention because they feel they are lacking it or that they aren't getting it or... You know, people want to be seen for so many different reasons, but it's coming from this place of almost insecurity within this person. Um, sometimes they get stuck in their own way and it gets really heavy for them. I feel like this person feels like a failure or someone in this mix feels like a failure and it's really not serving them, right? Like, I feel like something got off the ground and, and they thought, or maybe you guys thought it was gonna be a success and then it wasn't, but but it, at the same time it was because it's growth, because it's evolution, but they're not seeing it from that perspective. They're seeing it from a very lack perspective that doesn't really serve them because it puts them in this horrible mental space and then their body starts feeling heavy everything starts feeling heavy it starts to feel a bit like a struggle which their emotions are trying to tell them through that bad feeling that the way that they're perceiving the situation is not the way their higher self is seeing it because our negative emotion are nothing but rumble strips you know, like on the side of the highway that let you know, hey, 
whatever you're thinking about right now is not in your best interest, right? Is not serving you. And that's why you're feeling the negative emotion. It's not because you're feeling negative emotion because you're thinking about something that's an absolute truth or that <clears throat> is unchangeable. Although anytime you think that you're, that you're, I can't go into all of that. If there are no absolute truths, <laughs> we're all making it up as we go. But um, listen to your emotions. And I, I feel like this is particularly for your cross watcher, your person. But because it is your reading, it must also somehow resonate with you. So the Empress, the Two of Pentacles, the Emperor, where are you at emotionally? Woo, Pisces. I feel like you figured some ish out. You know what I mean? Like, okay, you've done some self-reflection, but I feel like you have taken the growth. You have taken the expansion. You are taking better care of yourself. You are getting your priorities straight. You are feeling more in control. You are getting that clarity, that, that clearing of the mind, right? And feeling more connected. Where I feel this person being more so on the struggle bus for whatever reason but let's see what's going on in their heart space seven of pentacles the devil well because they're obsessed with something that didn't work out and that will always make you feel terrible <laughs> right because everything is working in your favor including the things that don't work out um so it's like if they would let go of that fixation right then right behind that is healing, is wish fulfillment. If they were as obsessed with their success as they were their failures, they would have been a complete success by now. But you get what you think about whether you want it or not. And this person, I feel like they, they, uh, they're not intentionally doing this. It's not a bad person. I'm not saying that. We all do this. But they, they give too much weight or seriousness or focus to the struggle and so the struggle supersedes the success and because they are such a good focuser that it would only take a very small amount of change in their thought space to focus on the success to pivot and move that in the right direction in, in a better direction I feel like I'm giving life advice to your person <laughs> What is in their heart space? I feel like this person's struggling, okay? So when it comes to the connection, they may be hyper fixated on you, uh, Pisces, or fixing something with you, or because maybe they've invested time and energy, they fixate on, it doesn't even have to necessarily be about you. Some of you, yes, because I did get the song Obsessed in, in the first part of the reading. But I feel like they they get fixated a lot. They obsess over a lot of different things. They may even have uh, addictive personality addictions, um, things of that nature if they dwell too long there. But the good news is, is the star is here. So there's healing available for this person. Um, but they're struggling. They're going back and forth. They are trying to figure things out for themselves, which that's you know what? That's fine. That's fine. And I feel like although you are in a place, I feel, to give answers, sometimes it is best to allow people to figure it out themselves. So let's see what the future energy looks like. And I'm sorry. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. Quick distraction. Okay. So most likely future outcome for Pisces. You have the Four of Pentacles. The World card. Whoa. The Strength card. The Hierophant and the Judgment. So, Pisces, um, I feel like there's something here that you're kind of holding near and dear to your heart that has the potential to come full circle, full circle during this time frame. So they want you to keep 
um, your confidence about you and know that your prayers have been heard and attended to. And this is the Hierophant, which is talking about taking it to the next level, but it also talks about your belief systems and that through your belief structures, all things are possible if you choose beliefs that serve you, right? So um, there's an encouragement here, Pisces, to keep the faith to stay confident, to know that things will come first full circle, that you can release any judgment or criticism that you may have, that that is not necessary to bring with you into your next chapter. Um, I feel like whatever decision needs to be made during this time frame, I feel you being guided intuitively, but also taking the high road, you know, doing the right thing is what's going to net you. And when I say the right thing, I'm not talking about the right thing based on what society would agree with you on. I'm talking about what feels the best to you, the right and the right thing for you, meaning what is your path of least resistance? What feels easiest to you, right? What feels good to you? Follow your bliss. There's a reason that that's a saying. This person, the whole reading, all of their cards have come out at once. This person's most likely future outcome. They they this is a begin it blah, 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 blah. This is a begin again card. I'm sorry. <laughs> um after a period of self-reflection, I feel like this person was thinking a lot about their future and yet not really sure where to go with it. I mean, feeling confused a lot of the time, even though they they know that something's got to give because they're giving me a song once something's wrong with me. Something's wrong with you. Something's got to give. And it's like the longer they hold out, the, the, the more they resist change. You cannot put yourself in a place of resistance for too long before the universe sends a tower moment. And a tower moment is a change that occurs outside of self. Or it feels that way. Meaning like it kind of takes it out of your hands and then life changes and you have to adapt, right? And I feel like there's something here that this person is needing to adapt to during this time frame. And they, they have all of the tools necessary to be successful. Um, but it doesn't have to be as big of a struggle as this person is feeling that it may be. If they focus more on what they want as opposed to what they don't want. I feel like there's a lot of self-reflection needed here. Um, and it's about their past as well. Like they've made some sort of impulsive decisions here in the past. And there's some sort of self-reflection on that. Um, and they want another opportunity. Or they want an opportunity but just confused on how to go about it. But... The universe is about to step in and bring in a big change for this person either way. And that's for giggles. Let's see. What is the change about? <clears throat> What's the change about? Mm, the King of Cups. It's creating more of the space of vulnerability and humbleness in them. And actually, what they're going through right now is helping to, I heard a maturation process for them emotionally. So there's going to be some sort of change in emotions or how they're handling um, emotions because they are becoming wiser through this experience, okay, whether they're aware of that or not. So, <clears throat> wow. Let's see what the guidance is here for you, Pisces. Guidance. Pisces. Whoa. <laughs> the animal kingdom. And forgiveness. So you have the card of the animal kingdom. Animals of all types are extraordinary creatures and a miraculous gift. They've been our spiritual companions since the dawn of time. At this moment, they have lessons to share with you that will open your heart and soul. So you may feel very connected to nature or animals or even getting, you know, signs and messages from spirit through 
animal sightings or finding feathers, things of that nature. This person has forgiveness. So holding on to resentment and anger is what's preventing and suffocating from you from your spiritual growth. Resentment is one of the strongest and most damaging of the human emotions. The act of forgiveness in its own right is equally incredibly powerful and has the capacity to heal and transform. So one of the things that's needing to transform that the tower is coming in for is to help this person release any resentment and anger that they may be carrying from their past. So, wow, Pisces, very interesting, beautiful reading. I'm going to leave it there for now. Zodiac signs that you may be connecting with or having your own birth chart. I have here Sagittarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Libra, Leo, Aquarius, Virgo, Capricorn, A Gemini energy here, Aries, Leo, Libra. Those are the primary signs I'm seeing, but keep in mind it's a general, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, also, you guys, I fell off the YouTube algorithm. Yeah, well, a lot of my YouTuber friends did. Um, you know, like, I mean, some big tarot YouTubers, not just me, have fallen completely off the map. Um, like, for instance, Water Baby Tarot, which if you watch, I think we, she, she sent it, she watches me sometimes. What's up, girl? Um, I love her readings. She, she was, she's phenomenal, and she's not in the algorithm anymore. I'm not in the algorithm anymore. Um, I took, I changed my schedule, and I took a small hiatus because I went through a divorce, and apparently YouTube shuns you should you ever take a break from YouTube. <laughs> and so it stopped sharing my videos. And um, so the only people that are getting notifications is like 50% of you. It's not even giving all of you the notification. So help me get back into the algorithm. And you can do that by, if you're currently subscribed, unsubscribe and then resubscribe uh, so that you start to get all of the notifications. But also like this, comment, share it, talk about me to your friends in other YouTube tarot land world. Um, just share, 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 and it'll be so appreciated. And let's get back on the, get back in that YouTube algorithm. Um, <laughs> but anyways, okay. Yeah. Wishing you the very best. Um, and yeah, we're going to wrap it there. Love you so much guys. Till next time. Namaste.